Hey, welcome back. So this is video number two in making landscapes in Unreal Engine 5. And um, if you missed the first one, you can check it out here at Putting on the Fritz 3D Visualization and uh, get caught up. Because in that one, we made a material. And that material is what we're going to use in this video tutorial for video number two as well. Um, in the next tutorial, video three, we'll get into a different material and a different method for um, making landscapes. But in this one, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a height map to make our um, terrain. Okay, And then we'll use the material we made last time and put it on there and we'll take a look and see how it looks. So hopefully this video won't take too long. It'll probably take longer for you to decide what part of the world you want to pick a height map from than it will to actually probably make um, make the terrain. All right, so um, let's go ahead and uh, let me walk you through it. I don't actually have a demo to show you this time. So we're just going to go ahead and do it while we uh, move along. Okay, so um, here's where we were last time. Okay, and yeah, so this was the one that we made manually. And all of our materials should be down here in our content drawer. Okay, so... This material that we made, our material function, we're going to use this exact same, not material function, where did it go? Master materials. This uh, um, material instance is what we're going to use, okay? But first, we need to go ahead and get our terrain. So where we're going to go is to this site right here. This one uh, seems to be working pretty regularly right now. Okay, and I'm going to put the link down in the description, but you can see it right up here. It's this uh, heightmap.skydark.pl. And basically, when you open it up, it starts you here in San Francisco. Over here on the left-hand side is a bunch of different icons. This first one, this I, is uh, basically information. It gives you all the uh, information about your base scale for the map size. Uh, you can play around with these to get the different um, size of the map that you want, I guess. And um, some stuff about water, blurring water side. I pretty much uh, leave this uh, default. The only thing, um, size and scale might be something that uh, you want to change because right now um, the scale is going to be this green area right in here on the center section. So when we find a section, this is what's going to happen. If you change the map size here, should change that scale. So I made it much larger, 57 kilometers. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back down to 17. All right, um, base scale. And then also there's a height scale. All right, we're going to leave it at 100%. Okay, so just leave all that alone. This next thing uh, basically is your map style. I usually leave it on just the outdoors, but if you need to be able to visualize a little bit better using satellite or whatever, or, you know, you can jump around using that. Okay, um, let's see here. This is basically... You can type in, a, if you know your uh, longitude and latitude of where you want to go, you can type it in here. You can also get the latitude and longitude of the current location. So if we type that in and hit that here, this is what it is right there. Okay. All right. Um, here, this is if we're working with a RAW or RAW format for our file. We can use that. But we're just going to go ahead and use uh, PNGs. And then there's different methods of how to download the image and the zip. And this zip will come with the lat long uh, as well. And um, different reasons why you might want to use that. Let's see here. This um, is an OSM map. I have not used this. Let's see here. This will show height contours. We don't want that. We also don't want to show water contours. So we're not going to get that. This will zoom in and zoom out. But you can also use your middle mouse button and zoom in and zoom out this way. Um, I believe this is uh, to get more information about it, more instructions. Um, this is uh, where you can go to find it on a GitHub. Okay, looks like they recently fixed it. Okay, and again, you can also, um, I believe this is to report bugs or something, I'm not sure. Well, so I can get uh, my tiles PNG right here. So what's this? Oh, okay, cool. All right. But we're not going to use San Francisco. So let's go ahead and find a different spot. Ah, Okay, right right mouse button does not do what you think it does. It's the left mouse button. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom out a little ways and fix my world. Not that it really matters. I think I'm going to go here um, into Colorado or Utah. Get some really rugged uh, terrain. 
Let's see. Oh, left mouse button, not right mouse button. You know what? Right over here, I think I found a spot I liked before. Yeah, outside of Gunnison, this area. Now you can obviously find anywhere you want in the world to do this because we're just going to go through it real quick. All right, so once you get uh, the area that you want, um, we can double click on it and it'll move the grid so you see exactly where you're going to lay, uh, lay it out. Okay, and you can, again, if it's not exactly where you want it, uh, you should be able to hover over the center and just left mouse click and drag until you get it to where you want it. I'm going to I'm going to focus on this area right here. Um, again, just because it looks one way in the world doesn't mean you have to use it that way. This might make some good uh, large, like a plane that I could uh, set up like gameplay in the middle of and then have these mountains kind of um, set as a backdrop. So that might work out well. Okay, so once I get the area that I want to use, I'm going to go ahead and come over here to the one that's for our PNG height map. I'm going to click on that, okay? And it's just going to go to my downloads as we saw. Okay, there it is right there. So I'm going to open up the folder. And this is the previous one I got before, which... Hmm. All right, so if we double-click on it... Um, that is not what it's supposed to look like. Okay, hold on a second. Let me pause. All right, so it took me a few tries, as you can see here, and um, I played around with some different stuff. So what I think is, um, again, I know I told you we usually leave this alone, but uh, what I did is I hit the refresh button and then clicked auto, and once I did that, it seemed to do what it was supposed to because now I have a height map of that area. It should look like this area here. You can see the lakes coming in here and moving out that direction in those fingers. So yeah, so I was looking right, 1081 by 1081. Um, these other ones, if again, if it comes out, uh, where was it? Here it goes. If it comes out blank white like this, there's a problem. Okay, it should look like this. And the thing about a height map, okay, is the black colors are the dark black are going to be the low lying lowest areas the bright white areas are going to be the highest areas and then of course everything are shades of gray in between that are going to give us our elevation all right so let's go ahead and see what that's going to look like inside of our project um, first thing i'm going to do though is i'm going to right click on it i'm going to go ahead and uh, copy it where you can just hit Control c of course i'm going to drop that down and i'm going to put this in a folder Okay, I have a folder called height maps, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in there. That way I have it to keep for future use and reference, okay? Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this out of the way. I'm going to go back into my landscape world here, and what I want to do is go back into my content, into my maps, and I'm going to go up and I'm going to go file, new level, okay? We're going to pick a basic level again. We're going to go ahead and click create. And it should be this basic world like this, okay? And we should have our... Uh, I don't see it, but it's here somewhere. All right, so we should have all of our stuff in this as well. We can always put things back in if we need it. Let's go ahead and save it. We're going to go File. We're going to save Current Level As. And it's going to go into our folder with our Level 1 inside of our maps. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this Landscape 2. Maybe if I can type landscape underscore two. Okay. All right. So that should uh, get us started. Now, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is up here underneath landscape, we're going to go to select mode. We're going to hit the down arrow, just like we did before. And we're going to select the landscape, just like we did in the previous video. And you can see all the way up above us, there is our grid. Okay. So we end up with this green grid, just like last time. And we could change the settings on it and stuff. But what we're going to do is actually we're going to bring in a height map. So we're going to select import from file. We're going to check that we want the uh, edit layers. So enable edit layers. And right here, there should be a blank in yours. But because I was playing around, mine is not. And I'm going to hit these three buttons right here. The little three dots. And I'm going to select my height map. So I'm going to go to my folder. Okay. Where I put all this. Ok, 
Okay. D drive. Nope, not D drive. Height maps. All right, we can go ahead and select it. Hit open. And so now, basically, it's um, all set up. I'm going to select the fit to data right here. Okay, make sure everything is correct. And we're going to go ahead and build it the way it is, all right? And, um, but one thing we're going to note here is that we can always come back in and we can adjust location, rotation, and scale, okay? Right now, everything is set to 100 for all of this. And we may not be happy with the way the height looks, okay? So we may need to come back in and play with the Z, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click import, okay? And there it is and we can see that um, this is some really rugged terrain now if that is something you're going for in your game this might work exactly the way it is but i'm not exactly happy with that so uh, what i want to do is i want to go ahead and change my height map again so i'm going to select my height map actually what i'm going to do is yeah i'm going to just go ahead and go back i'm going to go to select i'm going to select the landscape i'm going to hit delete I'm going to go back into my landscape again and I'm going to go and down here since my height map is still selected it's the same height map okay I'm going to go in here and I want to drop down the scale in the Z direction and that was really really significantly high uh, I think that's more than I want for my game I'm going to drop it down to like 25 so I'm going to go down significantly in the size of the mountains for this one and now with that done I'm going to go ahead and hit import and it kind of brings things down a little bit uh, more realistic and into perspective so now if we take a look we can see that uh, our terrain is looking pretty decent I think um, there may be some need to smooth some things out if we have some really rugged or squared off sections that don't look natural but um, and we can kind of see that we have some spots like that right here um, along the top and I'm going to go back into uh, select mode so that um, I can point at things without having that big white thing blurb over it but you can kind of fly around take a look at it and if we take a look at the very edge of our maps a lot of times we'll end up with this sort of drop off and that's because the height maps that we're importing do not necessarily line up with the size uh, ratio of what Unreal Engine is trying to put them to be and um, and that's one of the things about getting maps like this just off the internet. Um, it can cause some issues for you. Now, there are other ways to do this. There are other types of... We can actually get uh, the satellite data ourselves and um, set up some programs and um, do it. But we're not going to get into that level in this video series. So... Um, Let's go ahead and select the landscape. And now let's go ahead and find our outliner. Let me go ahead and put these next to each other. Actually, the outliner's in the wrong spot. It's the details I want. And for my details, I'm going to find my landscape material, which goes right there. I'm going to select the content, go to my content drawer, find my material, my master material. And I'm going to go ahead and throw on my material instance, landscape instance, and just kind of take a look and see what we got. Okay. And now, so this platform right here, this is the default location for everything. And right there is the zero, zero location. So that's where our player start probably is if we have one in this game yet, which we do not. So let's see here. Right now I got it set up. So we don't have a default player start. So anywhere that I go ahead and hit play right now is where the character will show up. And that'll work fine. We'll just leave everything alone. All right, so I'm going to go out here. I'm going to hit play. Okay. And here's our character. And this is all of the terrain that we had. And it just automatically uh, filled everything in there for us um, because it uses the slope angle of the ground to determine what texture should be placed where. And as we run around, we can see that uh, we're going to have some funky little shadow things like this happen. And that's because if we kind of curve a little bit, we see that we have this, this kind of a triangle right there, okay? Create a little pyramid. Those are things that you'll need to kind of locate. And this is a little bit more here. So um, if I hit escape, it'll leave me in this spot. 
I can go back into my landscape mode and just select smooth. We go ahead and drag down the brush size a lot and fall off's okay. Strength, okay, yeah. So I'll just kind of, just barely, you know, kind of click on it, kind of smooth this out a little bit. And we might need the brush to be a little bit bigger. Oh, not that big. And that'll kind of smooth some of this section out. We may lose some of the uh, texture, so I hit Control Z, undo that if I want, a couple of times. Let's bring that down a little bit smaller. There we go. Didn't quite want it that big. Okay. And you just kind of touch it a little bit, left mouse click, and you can kind of smooth those sections out. All right, so um, again, in the uh, real world, this is actually a valley with water in it, a giant lake, and probably a river of some sort that ran through here. A waterfall. So, you know, if you wanted to build that back up and be identical to the world, you can do that, and you can also, you know, use it in different ways, uh, just like we just now did. Save your time, time making a... Uh, a world by just using some uh, height maps off of the earth itself. Okay, um, let me go ahead and control S and save everything. Okay, and that should be pretty decent right there. Okay, so uh, that's it for this tutorial. Um, hopefully uh, it was helpful in explaining how to use height maps and get them into your uh, game and then uh, use the textures and materials that we've already created to be able to add those to your world. Um, again, if you have any uh, questions, please put them down in the comments section. If you liked what you saw, please like the video, subscribe to Putting on the Fritz 3D Visualization, and I'll see you next time.